The viral video that is central to the trial was scrutinized in court. In the video, Malema is allegedly seen firing what appears to be a semi-automatic rifle during the EFF's fifth birthday celebrations in Imdanzani. Three police experts took to the stand and all asked not to appear on camera. Mdanzani Sub's communications officer, Lieutenant Colonel Gossi Komzogu, was first up. He was at Sisa Dugashi Stadium on the 28th July 2018 and witnessed the event. Mzugu was drilled by Malema's bodyguard, Adrian Simon's advocate, asking him to confirm that whether in the video is Simon seen handing the raffle to Malema. He was also asked by the defense team as to whether the firearm was real or not and did it discharge blanks or live ammunition. Well, uh, unfortunately, I cannot say whether it was a blank or a live uh, bullet, but indeed it fired and i'm not a fire uh, i'm not a firearm expert as well malema sat listening to the testimony during the breaks he chatted to his legal team and supporters including eff former secretary general godrich gadi head of the presidency viani pambo and party provincial chairs lindy levena the EFF leader has pleaded not guilty to the unlawful possession of a firearm and ammunition, discharging a firearm in a built-up area or public place and the reckless endangerment of people and property. A facial identification expert testifying was next to take the stand. Amanda Yuvon Stenkamp, a retired police warrant officer, says she had received various social media images for analysis from crime intelligence on the 3rd of August 2018. She was asked to identify whether this was truly Malema in the footage and not an imposter. My conclusion was positive on the person. Considering the correspondence of general class characteristics, and the presence of individual identifying unique characteristics that were found during the analysis between the person in the CCTV images on the left side of the core chart and in the control images on the right side of the core chart, it is found that the person in the CCTV images and in the control images depicts the same person. Captain Swarel Kruger, who works for the Visible Policing Unit at Brighton Beach Police Station in Deben, was up next. He confirmed to the court that on the 17th August 2018, he received Sandman's 14 firearms. The firearms were put into sealed bags and taken for investigation, and the firearms except one were returned to Sandman at different times. The trial continues with the state expected to call three more witnesses. For MPK TV News, I am Lumka Pekindao in East London.